What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a super exciting Liverpool transfer news video. There could be another twist in the Zubimendi transfer saga and that transfer saga could be yet revived because Real Sociedad are breaking his, their promises to Zubimendi, they are not offering Zubimendi high salary and big wages in their contract offer and uh, the Zubimendi's agent rightfully so is saying we said no to a life-changing contract at Liverpool so offer us the money that you promised you will offer otherwise Zubimendi could threaten to leave Real Sociedad to, and to go to Liverpool and towards the end of July Liverpool sent a two-man delegation to San Sebastian to negotiate with Zubimendi and Zubimendi gave assurances that he was willing to leave Real Sociedad despite turning down Bayern and Arsenal previously. Zubimendi said yes to Liverpool's proposal and that was in the knowledge of who the present Liverpool coach is which is Arne Slot so the idea of Jurgen Klopp that wouldn't may have made a difference uh, uh, for Zubimendi's final decision. Uh, there were rumors that Zubimendi uh, stays, uh, stayed at uh, Real Sociedad because of his family, because of his wife and kids didn't want to move to England and with the recent troubles in England I could understand that being the case but that is not confirmed. We don't know that for a fact, that's just a rumor. But Paul Joyce has reported this afternoon that two separate sources said on Tuesday that discussions on a new contract for Zubimendi and Real Sociedad were problematic and Sociedad were on the receiving end of a game of hardball. Basically Zubimendi's agent told Real Sociedad we said no to a glorious contract opportunity, a glorious contract offer by Liverpool so offer us big money and big wages because you promised us that if we stay at Real Sociedad you will honor us with a big new fat contract and they basically said no to Liverpool tripling Zubimendi's salary so they are probably expecting Real Sociedad to double Zubimendi's salary and they probably can't afford to do that. And the main reason why Zubimendi, the Zubimendi deal collapsed is Real Sociedad told Zubimendi he would have to trigger the release clause himself and he didn't want to alienate the fan base, he didn't want to seem like a traitor and he didn't really want to force his way out of the club. That means everything to him. So that's, what, that's why the deal collapsed. Um, and Zubimendi is kind of crazy because he turned down Bayern Munich, Arsenal, Man United, Barcelona and Liverpool as well. Those are some of the biggest clubs in the world. And he decided to stay at the mid-table club in Spain. Real Sociedad are not really a big club. My prediction is they won't even make top four because there are just other clubs uh, stronger than Real Sociedad. They didn't make the top four last season and uh, they face a big battle to make the top four this season because they already lost Le Normand, one of their best centre-backs. They could lose Marino to Arsenal as well. But this whole Zubimendi fiasco is, is absolutely fascinating that... Uh, Zubi and his agent is definitely on the phone to Real Sociedad saying we gave off a life-changing opportunity signing for Liverpool to remain loyal to Real Sociedad so reward us because Liverpool were willing to triple Zubimendi's salary. The big question is would Liverpool fans revisit this transfer deal? Would Liverpool even entertain Z signing Zubimendi if he changes his mind again? I mean that wouldn't sit well with the Liverpool fan base. If Zubimendi said no to once to Liverpool then I don't think Liverpool would go back for him even if Zubimendi deci decided did. oh wait I, I want to sign for Liverpool I changed my mind again I mean that would be absolutely fascinating what Liverpool would do in that scenario and uh, because Zubimendi was promised absolutely everything Liverpool went way above and beyond of what they usually do tripling a player's salary is not what usually Liverpool do and uh, he was promised the world by Real Sociedad if he stays and he chose to stay at his boyhood club and now it seems that the promises that Real Sociedad made are not being kept. Real Sociedad are not giving him that contract offer that they promised in, in the negotiations. And I mean that's really shitty uh, if Real Sociedad does that. It's a really low, low move, low blow. And uh, yeah, Real Sociedad absolutely did everything. They, they didn't play fair or didn't play clean in these negotiations. They used emotional blackmail. They tried everything emotionally, pulling on the heartstrings of Zubimendi to convince him to stay. And now that they are lowballing him with a low contract offer, it's it 
Zubimendi must feel really bad because he turned down a huge opportunity to sign for Liverpool, one of the biggest clubs in the world, and he said no to a contract which would be a life-changing contract. I'm sure that he earned a decent big amount of money at Real Sociedad already and Liverpool were tripling his salary and he said no to that and now Real Sociedad are low bowling him. That's, uh, that's really, really bad. And Arne Slot publicly highlighted only one issue in his team and that's the defensive midfield, the number six position. Throughout pre-season Arne Slot tried, tried out Endo. Bajcetic, Curtis Jones, Tyler Morton, Trainioni, Soboslai, McAllister and Gravenbeck. So eight different players played in this number six role, the double pivot as they call it. Endo is the only one out and out defensive midfielder and even he stated himself Endo said it himself that Liverpool need to sign a defensive midfielder. So the fact that Liverpool are running this, there is no alternative available, is embarrassing. It's actually scandalous to feed the fans this. But maybe they, they are just feeding the media this. So Liverpool can negotiate in the background, behind closed doors, so nobody knows our next defensive midfield target. Because Zubimendi himself said that it put him under immense pressure when Liverpool went public with, uh, you know, the talks of uh, ongoing with Zubimendi. But that was disproven by some Liverpool-based journalists. Uh, David Lynch said that Liverpool they actually didn't go public with uh, Zubimendi as his name. It just leaked out through Spanish press. Because Liverpool, then David Ornstein first reported that Liverpool are just start targeting a defensive midfielder. And we are deep in negotiations with the defensive midfielder. He didn't actually say a name. The Liverpool-based journalists didn't say a name. It was the Spanish journalists who leaked uh, to the media that Liverpool are in talks with Zubimendi. The bottom line is Zubimendi felt, on, felt under immense pressure and Real Sociedad put him under immense pressure. And in the end he cracked under that pressure. He couldn't go through with the transfer and now he maybe has have has some regrets so that's a very very interesting scenario and Richard Hughes are now under immense pressure to put this right because Zubimendi would have provided a huge injection of quality into a weakness in the Liverpool squad the defensive midfield is a weakness we still haven't replaced Fabinho with a world-class player and it would have been a major coup uh, securing the signature of Zubimendi but missing out on him looks really really bad on Richard Hughes and on this new look Liverpool hierarchy and Liverpool did everything money wasn't an issue we, we were willing to really to pay the release clause uh, we were willing to triple Zubimendi's salary yeah it was pointless negotiating with Real Sociedad because they didn't really want to sell Zubimendi they tried everything all the dirty tricks in the book to keep Zubimendi it looks like it worked at least we have some uh, hope that Liverpool are only sa saying to the media we are not after another defensive midfielder because they didn't want to show their cards. They, didn't want, they don't want to show their hand and uh, they just want to negotiate in private. They want to negotiate in secret for our next defensive midfield target. I can't, uh, I, w I wouldn't believe that Liverpool would be so dumb or so stupid, at least the transfer committee, not to sign a defensive midfielder after Arne Slot publicly. Basically, basically pretty much asked for a defensive midfielder. And the importance of Rodri to Man City and Declan Rice to Arsenal underlines the value of having a dynamic specialist number six. You know, look at Fabinho at his peak, how important he was at uh, Liverpool. And uh, even uh, Van Dijk said Liverpool should make some signings based on how, the, how long the season will go. And I'm sure the club is working behind the scenes. I'm fully convinced and I trust in the club that they will do the right thing and get the poss best possible squad to compete in every competition that we are in. Even if you go back for Subimendi, I'm fine with that. Just sign a defensive midfielder who is better than Endo. That's all I ask. And, uh, and hopefully Liverpool will be able to do more deals down the line. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.